we're getting two big bottles of water it's going down tonight yeah I know We made it to the beach. It's cloudy, but still look at this beach. Oh, that just reminds me of Thailand. Oh my god. Uh, Nina, should we build a sand castle to compete with these people? Look at the sun. Nina, why didn't you laugh? <laughs> Good morning. So if you didn't see my previous vlog, um, yeah. So if you didn't see my previous vlog, my roommate Nina and I, we are in Philippines in Boracay. I recorded a whole vlog about us like getting here. Or I was just like recording so much, then I figured like I have so much footage, it's gonna probably be a separate vlog. Also because it took us so long, it took us around 16 hours to get here. Like the flight from Shanghai to Philippines is not that long at all, it's only um, like 4 hours. But then it took us like 16 hours with like the whole, like literally from door to door. So from the time we went out from our apartment in Shanghai, we got a cab, we went for security and everything. And then to the time where we just like sat down in our hostel here in Philippines. So yeah, you can check it out. And now we are just chilling, getting breakfast at this like beach place. Look, the beach is like literally right here. Oh, kitty. Oh, hello. And yeah, unfortunately, the weather is not great. It's cloudy, but I mean, it's still warm. So yeah, but I hope the sun will come because everything is better when it's sunny. Other basic white bitches, did you see them? <laughs> Carrying their Starbucks and like really wearing like like Western clothes. Yeah, but again, we have to explain ourselves here. I still have an assignment to do. Okay. Yeah, we're going to Starbucks. <laughs> but actually, how lame is that? When you come to a place like that and then horrible. you go to Starbucks, it's, right? It's horrible. I don't condone this behavior. <laughs> we do not support, okay? Pretzels. Pretzels. Let's go. Uh, this, that's probably one of the nicest Starbucks views I've ever seen. Cheers, Philippines. I'm leaving for Nina at Starbucks, but she's doing some good shit. Can I show some of your stuff? Can I show this cool, like, um, the, the, you know, the cool thing? What is it that you're doing, Nina? This so, so cool. I am making a brand concept for what our store and yeah, this Look is this. Some, well, uh, some inspiration that I have here. That's so cool. Yeah. With the color palette? I was a co a co advisor <laughs> making this color palette. Yeah, nice. I work hard, mate. And I'm gonna walk hard at the beach. <laughs> and work hard or play hard. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Look, I'm not wearing shoes. How you Oh my god, just look at this. How nice is that? Finally outside. I literally sat in Starbucks for like two hours doing nothing. So Nina is working on her um, collection or like school thing. And I was just like sitting there looking outside and drinking my coffee. And I don't know, it just felt so nice. After a month of crazy deadlines, 10 assignment. I was just like so, I'm just so like brain, brain drain, brain drain, can you say that? I, I, I am, my brain is gone, not working. Like I haven't had a moment to just like sit down and do nothing in a while. So it's just, it's just, it's, it, it felt so good. And by the way, I'm not wearing this because it's cold. I'm just wearing it because I really wanted to have pictures with it on the beach, you know, just like me casually. <sighs> also the weather is getting a little better. Some people on internet made fun of me about the way I say it, like the weather got better. Do I say it in a funny way? I don't know. Is my accent funny? But I just talked to my friend and she was like, don't worry, the weather will get better. So, Monia, jeżeli to oglądasz, to chodzi o ciebie, więc trzymam cię za słowo, mówi się tak, trzymam cię za słowo. Oh my god, the water is so warm! No way! I mean, it's not like I expected it to be cold, but oh my god, it's so nice! I cannot believe I'm here! Oh man! Uh, it's literally like warm. It's not good if you're trying to love again But I'm trying to make you say all of my friends But I'm lying, I'm not good at playing love again It's so warm, right? 
that I haven't had like a proper beach holiday in almost a year like this summer I went traveling but I didn't go to like a beach destination so last time I was like at the beach and it was warm and I was like swimming was in February like January February that's when I went to Bali and then Gran Canaria and since then I haven't been anywhere so it's like no I've been places but not like you know not like that kind of places and it just makes me realize how much I miss Thailand not that I don't usually realize how much I miss Thailand I really miss living in Southeast Asia it was honestly like time of my life I had so much fun and this really reminds me of Thailand like this could totally be Thailand right but yeah it's so beautiful here and I'm so happy to just like relax oh my god this dog is pooping but anyways I'm just so happy to be at the beach and just like man not just not just not think about assignments and all that the last three months were so intense it was probably some of the most intense times of my life so I'm doing MBA in luxury brand management in Shanghai right now and yeah in the beginning it was all about settling in Shanghai getting used to living in China again then it was all about assignments it was insane and also like yesterday Nina and I we were talking that like we just realized that Shanghai is almost over not almost but like we actually have only three four months left in Shanghai and then we're moving again I don't think I've ever said that in any of my videos maybe I'll keep it a secret it's not like a secret but yeah basically in April I'll be moving again to a different country continuing my MBA but the MBA I'm doing it's kind of like half in one city and the other half is in another city in another part of the world very far away from Shanghai so basically in four months I have to move out of my apartment again find a new apartment move to a different country and go for all this again and it's kind of weird because okay some people were staring at me <laughs> I just realized yesterday I realized a lot yesterday we had like a realization day Nina and I but yesterday I also realized that in like when I'll be moving again in April it will be my four, fourth time moving to a different country in two years so in these two years I would be living in four different countries and like it's obviously my own choice and I love it and it's so fun and amazing and everything but it is intense I'm not gonna lie it's not all fun and games it's obviously my own choice and I love it it's super fun but I think it's also because I'm so tired right now I can feel that um, it's getting a little intense you know but I mean I wouldn't I wouldn't change that like I would not want my life to be different like this is something that I love about my life that I have opportunity to live in different countries and explore different places yeah I'm very happy about that I'm just saying that it's not always easy you know that kind of lifestyle it is worth it it's definitely worth it at the end of the day look how nice it is I kind of found this like little private beach I literally just had the proudest moment of my life okay maybe that's a little exaggeration but so I'm just like walking and then all of a sudden this old Chinese lady comes to me and she asks me in Chinese if I can take a picture of her and I'm like I, like I didn't say anything because I'm like shocked that someone like is speaking Chinese to me at the beach in Philippines and she probably couldn't speak any other language so that's why she was just like pointing at her camera and then like saying in Chinese oh can you take a picture of me and then I'm just like standing there looking at her not saying anything because I was shocked and then she goes like oh Ting Pudong and if like Ting Pudong means I don't understand in Chinese and if you ever been to China or if you ever lived in China you know that that's like the most used phrase in China I say that at least like five times per day so I do know what Ting Pudong means and then I was like oh I understand like in Chinese and she goes like and I'm like oh I study in Shanghai and she goes like completely silent and just hands me her camera I take a picture and then I'm like you're welcome in Chinese and she was like she didn't even say anything and she was so shocked and I'm like yes four years of studying Chinese paid off you know <laughs> I need to tell Nina about it it's a job but I have to find her first I have no idea where the Starbucks is this rush hour in Boracay I'm not filming you mate I'm, not like that. I'm just filming rush hour home sweet med monkey <laughs> look at it our hostel is pretty cute oh and there's a Christmas tree I don't think there was a Christmas tree here yesterday 
No, I don't remember it. But music Chanel and I are getting two big bottles of water. It's going down tonight, right now. <laughs>